front of you is uh, what we call the NIL list prototyping board. And it's by default included with the platform that you have. So what you can do is build up your circuit, like if you have a filter circuit that you want, you can prototype it on that breadboard. And what if that breadboard is special is because it can actually pull the signals from your function generator, source scopes, and so forth um, into that platform. That's how you access those instrumentation. But what you'll notice is you can actually power down and actually take that photo board away. And what that means is you can also customize your own board um, using, you know, for example, the Alt board tool to create your own filtered board, um, which has a filter circuit that you'd like to study, and be able to route those signals um, along the side and be able to make your own measurements from there. So I created an evaluation board. Just plug it in here. Right. We actually provide all the pinouts. Yeah, so we actually provide all the pinouts. Um, it's an open platform um, to the connection of the Elvis unit. So if you wanted to create your own circuit board uh, for a specific application or a particular circuit concept or uh, experiments that you'd like to run in your class, you can create your own board and plug it into the Elvis unit and be able to make the measurements from there. Okay, I hope that kind of clarified what the um, example is. And then we'll get into a little bit more detail of what instruments are actually in the unit and be able to give you an opportunity to explore some of those instrumentation uh, in, in this space here. And again, this is Alti board. We covered this in terms of being able to fabricate your circuit. Um, it allows you to take the circuit you captured and actually lay it out and then send it to a fabrication house to get it created. So that would be useful if you wanted to create your own Elvis plug-in board, right? Um, and then the question is, what is Elvis? This is, what is this mysterious platform that we call NI Elvis? Um, and I always, the station that you're looking at right now is an instrument, uh, instrumentation platform. So it contains 12 of your most common instruments available on it. It has your function generator, your oscilloscope, an isolated DMM, less common instruments like a Bode analyzer, three wire, two wire um, the, uh, for voltage current analyzers, uh, DSA are some of the examples of uh, the 12 instruments that are available. But in addition to the instrumentation platform that we have. We also have what we call data acquisition. So inside there we also have DAC, DAQ, DAC board. And this allows you to acquire your measurements like from your analog inputs. You can do digital I.O. counters. You can do um, uh, digital input and output on these, um, the board itself. And it really opens up a wide range of applications that are available in this platform. Okay? So we can kind of get into a little bit more detail, high level what it is. And it integrates what you see here. It integrates closely with LabVIEW, as well as it integrates with multi-SIM, which we'll show in the exercises in uh, a little bit. And this platform is not only for circuits, even though we're, we showed it um, right now, we're talking about circuits and electronics. But for example, earlier today, we used a platform for controlled applications. Um, during the expo hall, we're gonna show how you can use this platform to teach green engineering concepts, how to do uh, biomedical uh, application where you're acquiring signals from your body, um, and so forth. And this is done through having a different plug-in board or specific uh, sensor kits that you can purchase to kind of uh, integrate with what we call the NI ecosystem. Uh, and it's really a e uh, multidisciplinary platform. Depends on your application and what you hope to achieve with it. So Elvis is, is hardware and DAC. What they do is on um, Elvis and DAC, yes. So uh, in the sense that NI Elvis itself has um, the hardware platform, it also has the NI Elvis MX driver, which we had earlier. And that Elvis MX driver allows you to use what we call the NI Elvis MX instrument launcher. And later on, we actually have some exercises that allow you to ins like interact with the circuit and be able to see some of that behavior. And that's gonna be where a, a method in terms of how do we acquire and use the instrumentation. That's one way to do it. Another way is using the multi-SIM environment, and this, uh, lastly, you can use Elvis uh, with LabVIEW to program in a little bit more complex applications. Okay. And then LabVIEW, um, you can consider a graphical interface uh, for measurements, controls, hardware, data uh, analysis, and so forth. And we'll get into a little bit more detail of what it is. I'm gonna go and step through the environment uh, and go through how to program your first um, exercise. Okay, so don't, don't be scared. This was meant to be high level, what it is. These are gonna be terms I'm gonna be using along the presentation. So keep that in mind um, as I go through. And if something's not clear, let me know, okay? Another request for, can this PowerPoint presentation be emailed to us to look at? 
Yes, we can arrange that if we need to. Yeah. Come talk to me after class. I can get your email contact and then go through that with you in a little bit more detail. So what I'm going to show today in terms of our exercises is this approach of teaching circuits. One, first of all, we capture, we have a theory that we want to teach. It might be an RLC circuit or RC circuit. What we do is in multi-sim, we capture the device. What we do is uh, then connect an instrument to it. So the same way in a hardware lab, I can connect an oscilloscope to my, my circuit. I can do the same thing inside multi-sim. And inside multi-sim, I can see the behavior come through and see the results of it in simulation. So that's what this um, image is showing. But now that I've kind of learned a little bit more about this circuit, I might want to be able to take that circuit and actually prototype it. So if I go ahead and prototype this, I can use the Elvis platform. And what I have here is a simple op-amp circuit that we're prototyping with a bypass filter. And we can use the Elvis instruments to make that same measurement. And now we can compare the real data with the simulated data approach. So that's what we're going to do in, in our exercises and kind of take step by step um, this approach to how to teach this uh, circuit design and electronic process. Can you use this to inject signals so that you can teach students on how to troubleshoot their actual, so actually introduce interference, let's say, from maybe uh, the old piece of hardware that you might have laying around? Okay, um, in the hardware perspective or from the software simulation? From a hardware perspective. Right. Um, so what we have on this platform, it has uh, analog outputs. Um, so you can create your own um, signal that you want, it, like noise perhaps, or a weird looking waveform that you want to inject to an op amp circuit. Um, and then you can use that um, to create an experiment around that. So you would be using the data acquisition functionality um, in that space. There's two questions back there. Um, more than one color. There's actually two channels on there. It's kind of hard to see because of the PowerPoint, um, but we have it in blue and green. Um, and then if you wanted to customize these instrumentation, um, the source code for all these instruments that we're going to use are available. So you can actually open it um, up and if you're familiar with um, the lab view environment, you can start customizing. So for example, I've seen requests where they added an additional channel, um, or actually additional two channels to oscilloscope. So it became a four channel oscilloscope. Um, or you can change the color of the, the, the wires or um, the signals that you're requiring. So you can actually do that. Um, in terms of customization. And you can find the location of those files um, in the help file. So those are available. They have, uh, they have a Tektronix oscilloscope with four channels. Yes, you can also use that as well. Yeah, a professor made an eight channel scope as well because the board has eight analog inputs. Yeah. So a professor made an eight channel scope. So you can acquire eight at a time. Yeah, question to the question. Yep. Yeah. Do you have a function generator? Do we have function generator? Yes, we do. And that function generator can do sine wave, square wave, um, and um, it's all two. Yeah. And we'll, you'll have an opportunity to play with each of them uh, in your own time. And we'll have a guided experiments that you can do. So the first step I want to talk about in terms of that step is doing the capture and simulation of this environment. So when I talk about uh, schematic capture, I'm talking about being able to take a circuit or a theory that you want to uh, implement and be able to kind of, um, in this environment, uh, capture or design that process. So there's really three parts <coughs> in terms of capturing a circuit. One is making sure you select the right components, which we'll show how to do. Two is laying down the component, and three is wiring them up. So how that kind of completes your whole um, process. 